Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Today I'm having a look at the East Coastway, the Brighton to Eastbourne and Seaford route add-on. Now you can get this for Train Sim World, the original game, and Train Sim World 2, but this is my first impressions of the route, the first time I've loaded it up. I've only recently got into Train Sim World 2. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I tried the uh, London Underground Bakerloo line, which is really, really fun. Way better than that... Uh, Oh, there was an old game, like I think it was called World of Subways, that did, I think, that might be in the Circle line, but yeah, just a really good simulation of the London Underground. Anyway, here we are on the East Coastway. Whoa, the FPS, okay. There you go. So yeah, the performance of this game is a lot better than the original, um, and uh, both of the Train Sim World games are way better than the old, old Train Simulator. Um, but you do occasionally get... Oh! Somebody spoke and I missed what they were saying. Can we restart? Let's restart. I, I I bet they had something like, this is the Brighton to Eastbourne Railway. Something like that. Here we go. So the route is what? 23 miles long. And then a 7 mile additional branch line. So here we go. E to begin. This is Brighton Station. The terminus of the Brighton Main Line from London and hub for several railways operating along the south coast of England. Head over to Platform 6 to catch a train. Here we go, Platform 6. Oh, look at this baby. So I believe this is a BR Class 377-4. Yeah, there you go, 377. First class, here we go. Ooh. Fancy. Look at this, sitting in first class seat. I like that they've actually captured that kind of... Uh oh. I can't get up. The East Coastway route provides vital transportation between historic towns, seaside resorts and coastal industry. You'll have the chance to experience both passenger and freight operations in the area. Right, okay, very cool. Um, so it's good I can't get up because it's actually like, you know, forced me to have a little journey, a little experience of the line, which is really nice. I like this a lot because there was an old, I mean, the, in the old Microsoft train sim, there was a mode where you get to like ride along on the trains. It was just really nice to like see the scenery without having to worry about, you know, driving. We're currently riding a class 3774 electric multiple unit. These run as four, eight and 12 car formations and operate all of the passenger services along this line. Brilliant. They've actually captured the grubbiness of the seats, look. That's great. There was a video like, sort of like I don't know, six or seven years ago where somebody was on the London Underground trains beating... Trains world oh. allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of intern... Here we go, exterior camera. He was like beating the, the seats with a hammer and all the dust flew out and they were like grading them or, or like comparing them between each different line. Now look at this. I'm loving the scenery. Lots of houses, they all look slightly different and they've all got variations. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed with the number keys. Oh yeah. Four, five doesn't do anything. Six, seven, eight. Eight is free cam. Oh yeah. Nine is the map. So quite a long route. Well no, not really. 23 miles isn't that long, but it's alright. You've only travelled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Okay. Welcome to the East Coastway. Take on the challenge of keeping commuters and tourists on the move. Drive over towering viaducts, around rolling hills, and through coastal towns. Operate a multitude of service patterns between a variety of destinations. Deal with on-the-job and line-side emergencies. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, open ticket machines, fix damaged fences, and introduce new cycle maintenance points. Choose passenger or freight operations and take a trip along the East Coastway. Perfect. See, I really love that they actually have an intro to the route you buy. It makes the DLC feel way more premium, right? For me, Train Sim World, so far, I'm liking it more than the original Train Sim. I just don't... The original Train Sim was flawed, really. And this has, you know, minor problems. Slightly poor performance sometimes, but other than that, you know. Oh, here we go. Oh. Welcome to this Class 3774 electric multiple unit in Southern Livery. This brief introduction will cover basic driving controls, 
passenger door operation and recovery from an emergency stop. Right. Climb aboard to get started. Now, okay. So this DLC came out, I think, in 2019. So it's not that new, but it's not a that old either. time will be spent in the driver's seat. Okay. Doors closed. Activate the control desk as indicated. Okay. Master key. On. The direction switch is used to determine the direction of travel. Forward. Apply some power now to get moving. P1. Yeah. 10 miles per hour, nearly. To slow down and stop, move the power brake controller into the brake range. So we've got to stop at the depot exit signal. Okay. So I'm on, I think I'm on high, between high and ultra graphics in 1440p. The game does look quite good. Uh, obviously a way an improvement over the original Train Sim. Like, this is my first video on this game, Train Sim World 2. There's not too much difference between the original and this one. One criticism I do have is that with the old Train Sim, they did update the game. Not much, but every year at least for free. It seems like now the next versions of Train Sim World might be paid year after year. Now, when I first got this, I kind of thought it was the Brighton to London route that was in the old train sim. That was the first route I ever played, I think, in train sim. Um, but that is coming very soon. Uh, part of the Rush Hour DLC for Train Sim World 2. Yeah, there's a couple of, couple of workers down there. The brakes seem quite powerful, which is good. And that's only on one. Yeah, they're pretty good. Let's just go quite slow. We don't want to go past the signal. Terrible visibility out the front here. Who thought of that? Terrible. Brighton is a busy station. Wait here until clearance is given to continue. Alright. Uh, oh, why does it say door? Is that a door? That is a door. Hmm. Door release, wiper, or oh. TPWS, train stop override, sander, door close, a whistle. Um, where would the... up here, what's this? Headlights, tail lights, aux on, aux off. AC temperature. I'm looking for uh, cabin lights. Ooh. Oops. What happened there? That's the AWS. Uh, what's that? Monitor changeover switch. Well, the monitors don't work. Which, well, I guess it's not that important. Um, I don't even know what what's on them. I mean, on that one we've got... Is it info about all the different carriages, I guess? But DRA... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Now, I love the UI. It really does feel good. Oh, we've got wheel slip. See, I just, I just knew instantly that the little red wavy lines meant wheel slip. I mean, I could kind of feel it in here as well. The camera's, like, shaking. But the UI is just clean, easy to read... Uh, much better, much simpler than the old one. And also, you, you're kind of encouraged to do more in the actual cabin, like use the buttons and the levers, which is brilliant. Not much DLC out for this game yet, which is, mm, you know, there's not much out there for this. But um, I don't know if there's going to be any external third-party developers for this. I hope there is. Just trains. Maybe you could get on it. I, I don't know. There could be, to be honest. I've not really looked. Just using A and D to regulate the speed. It's really simple. So here we are, Brighton. Okay. 
Game's running at 90 to 100 FPS right now. Use the power brake controller to apply some brake force to stop at the indicated point. If you stop short, apply power again to get moving. And I love this as well, the fact you have to actually stop at the right place. In, like, uh, what was it called? Like, old Japanese train sims, where in Japan, obviously, the you have to stop in exact places in real life and in games. Um, in those games, you basically failed the mission, even if you drove absolutely perfectly. You could fail the mission just by... Uh, ooh, not getting it exactly lined up. Five yards, that's fine. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. I don't know how to do that. I don't... I think it's... Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't know. Internal. Head out right. There you go. Head out right. Okay. Set the direction switch to... Uh oh Set the direction switch to off. Lock the right doors. Oh, my goodness. Driver's seat. There you go. Off. And key off. With passengers boarding, shut down this cab and head to the other end of the train Oops. to prepare for departure. <laughs> I've just turned off the... Oh, no. There you go. I just shut all the doors accidentally. I think... I know what the game is called now. It's Densha De Go, I'm pretty sure. Which is like a sort of a hardcore Japanese train sim. Ooh, nice door. Uh... Okay. Got us even Set tighter in here. Look at that. In preparation to move. Whoa. That's cool. Key on. Forward. The and apply some power. Granted, so apply power to get moving. Be aware that before arriving at the next station, an emergency stop will be simulated. What? Oh my goodness. Emergency stop was simulated. All right. Off we go. I don't know how to easily look out the side of the train, right? If somebody could tell me, that'd be really good. Whoa, that's surprisingly loud. Okay. I've got a notice board light. So it must be here somewhere. The I don't know. Is that it? Cab light, we found it. Nice. Yeah, it's so you press zero, head out. Oh, it's the wrong side. I don't know. Something like that. Let's go to London Road. So I like the modelling of the train. These have become quite iconic, really, these um, 377s, to be honest. They're everywhere. And this viaduct is really cool. But the visibility out this like slit window is just a little slit. Oh, there's the emergency stop. Like a little strip of window, it's useless. Okay. To recover from this situation, the controls must first be reset. Okay. That was easy. So we know, we know what to do now. Because I assume I will fail at some point. So yeah, we're walk being walked through how to control the train, which is amazing. That's something you didn't get in the old train sim, at least not with a, a voice guiding you. Whoa, why am I going so fast? The train. Use the power brake controller to apply some brake force to stop at the indicated point. Okay, if I you don't stop know. Short, apply power again to get moving. I really wasn't looking then. Okay, here we go. And that'll do.
Boom. Unlock all doors. Damn it. That's the wrong side. Oh my god. People are going to jump off the platform. Or oh, no, jump off the train now. Uh, where's... Where's... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There you go. Wrong side, sorry. Wasn't thinking. On they get. Whoa. At least they actually get on the train properly this time. You know, in the old one, they did. What is happening to the camera? Oh, it's the people walking past. The camera, watch. There you go. Every time they walk past, the camera clips. Okay, that's weird. No one wants to get on over there, which is a bit weird. Um. Let's get the camera closer. Okay, lock doors. Perfect. We've got oh my god, you got the train car length. That's so cool. Good work. That concludes this introduction. More details on the operation of this train can be found in the manual. On the product page on the Steam store. Okay, so there's actually a manual on the product page. That's pretty interesting. I probably won't read it, but I think they 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 do a good enough job teaching you in these tutorials, it's fine. So we did go a bit over the speed limit, which isn't great. There you go, here it is, Rush Hour. That's the DLC that's coming out. You get Brighton to uh, London with that. French Connection, here we go. Oh yeah. Welcome to Lou. A boat train service has arrived from London and you're tasked with operating the last leg down to New Haven Harbour. I don't know if that's how you say Lou. Or Lewis. I don't know. Mosquito on. Direction forward. I'm getting so many, uh, uh, what do you call them, achievements right now. Okay. There's nobody at the platform. Oh, here we go. They spawned magically at the end. Are they going to go on? No. What about now? Mm, no. She had a look, but she didn't want to get on. Okay. Close the doors. Right. Well, hang on a minute. We can't go yet. What about if I contact signaler? Denied. Wait for signal to change. Okay. So yeah, I'm really liking this so far. We haven't seen much of the map. But, I mean, look at this place. Station looks good. We've got yellow. Let's go. Now, it'd be nice to get some actual speed up. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Uh-oh. What am I doing? Let's get rid of that door. Come on, there you go. That's better. Oh my goodness, why am I... Okay, it's fine. Right, we've got a red coming up, so I'm not going to accelerate anymore. I need to keep my eye on the speed limit. So we've got to be at New Haven Harbour in 10 minutes. So we've got a long way. If I actually, we can have a look. Uh, it's escape. There you go. Schedule. Um, we've only got to go to New Haven Harbour. So one stop. We've got a green signal. Perfect. And a 60 mile per hour coming up. Nice. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting into this. Getting stuck in. This is my first impressions, obviously, but I will probably be doing at least one more video on this because it's definitely captured um, the interest in me. I bought it thinking, you know, am I going to like this? Am I going to like this? And I, yeah, I feel so pretty good so far. I do love British roots. Anything in Britain is brilliant. And, um, you know, modern stuff is kind of cool. But I'm not sure about that. Right. I think sometimes... Uh-oh. 
Oh, I just... Damn it. Did I really? Oh, they're trying to... Oh, no. They're trying to come to a stop. Damn it. That's why you shouldn't mess around with the brakes. Damn it. Yeah, I kind of like the old stuff, like train... Um, steam trains, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's something that feels a bit more, you know... Captures my imagination more with the modern routes for some reason. And I've just done it again. I'm going the wrong way. What a noob. There you go. I did say that I would fail, right? Thank God they told us how to reset the train. Okay, so have a look at the scenery. Uh, looks pretty good. We're on the south coast, so... Oh. We're on camera. Eight. Right. They don't move, as usual. What just... Oh, I did it again. Why was the train not accelerating then? Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I think I accidentally pressed uh, W instead of A. I think I pressed W actually because I wanted to move the camera forward. Right, okay, let's not do that again. Uh, power off, break. There you go, right. Leave the controls B. So yeah, the animals do not move, which is just a small issue for me. I wish that they did. Other games of this like type, simulation games, do have animated, you know, animals in the fields. Um, it's just just one of those things. I don't know. I, I noticed it in the old train sim, although at least the the animals in this don't look so creepy. In the old one they look really creepy, like there's a goat model and a dog model where they've got red eyes. Uh, which is really weird. Okay, so I've just done a... I mean, what am I doing? I'm failing with the brakes. But here we go. My excuse is it's my first time playing this route. Um, and I haven't played too many hours of train sim in recent months, so... Yeah, looking forward to get, getting back into it. ECW Brighton's best achievement unlocked. Okay. They usually give you achievements for, like, doing... I don't know. A mile on the route. Alright, we've got a 60 coming up. I saw that uh, whistle sign just in time. Right. And back up to 70. This isn't a very fast route. It's kind of like, you know, pretty average for this this train, I suppose, 70. But it does say up there, max speed 100, so, you know, we could get this thing moving. Oh, I love it. They've definitely captured in this game, the way British country countryside, you know, feels. Which is good. In the old train sim, I don't know. Most of it was pretty good. I mean, they de everything was definitely quite grey. Which isn't really the case. Even in summer, it felt very grey, a lot of the routes. Um, whereas really... Well, it's maybe not this glossy... <laughs> the weather and uh, 
you know, I mean, there's no, not a cloud in the sky, which is weird. I mean, it does happen, but, you know, that is weird. Let's... Oh, that's not a nice noise. Come on. No, I can't stand that. Oh, my... Does that make anyone else's spine tingle? That's horrible. Okay. New Haven Harbour at 9.12. So I think we're actually going to make it there on time. Even after we failed, we're going to make it there on time. Uh oh, 35 coming up. It's like some kind of, I don't know, gravel or scrap plant. I don't know, something like that. Scrap metal junkyard. I don't know. There you go, straight down to 35. Now, can you put a limiter on? Yes. Speed set adjust. Thirty-five. There you go. Uh, there you go. We had to activate it. Uh, no, this isn't where we're stopping, is it? I got worried then. There is a yellow up here, though, so presuming the next one's going to be a red. Yeah. The, the texture work is brilliant in here. You can really actually read everything. It's, it's talking about how the sander works, I suppose. Oh, I forgot. I forgot how awful it sounds. Right, here we go. New Haven Harbour. I'm actually feeling good. I think I'm going to move on to the next mission. If it's not too long. Uh-oh. Emergency. Okay, the emergency break was justified there, I think. Right. The freight to Dunkirk is located just across from the station. Passengers can now make their way and prepare for, prepare for boarding. Right, where is it? Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Brian Ferries. Br wait, Brian... F okay. There, there's someone called Brian Ferry, and I'm pretty sure that might be a <laughs> reference to that. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Right, let's just fix the... Off. And forward. There you go. Wait until 12.30. Brian Ferry's a singer, right? Let's just look him up. Brian Ferry. It's actually spelt the same way. B-R-Y-A-N. Yeah, an English singer-songwriter. Interesting. Okay. That's really weird. At least they're having some fun in the development, I suppose. Um, now, what can I say? I mean, yeah, just the way the, the route looks. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that reflection. That's quite cool. Um, the fact it walks you through everything. Train Sim World 2, good improvement. Maybe not a massive over improvement over the original Train Sim World. But definitely, Trains in World 1 and 2, way better than the original Train Sim. In fact, was it Train Sim World 1 or was it Train Sim 2020? I, I don't know. I don't know. Door closed. Right. That's it for this run. Thanks for lending a hand. So I'm actually half an hour in. Let's have a, at least a little nosy, a little look at the next mission. Oh, God. Right. So we got quite a good bit of score there. We only walked 11 yards, but we drove six miles. So, you know, we haven't done a full route yet, but that's, you know, like a third of the whole route. Six miles, no, maybe a bit more, less than that. But Cathcart Circle Line. Okay. 
Operate an all stops service to Brighton. Okay, let's have a quick look. Schedule is going to be half an hour. So much I'm going to leave it there. It is a half an hour journey, this. So I'm going to save. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. The East Coastway route. Really, really enjoyed it. I will come back for more uh, very soon. I want to try and get at least another passenger mission done. And then I'll move on to a freight mission as well. Because the freight missions I often leave out. And I really want to experience them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll leave a link to the DLC and my Discord server down in the description below. So um, I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.